All right, so we just got on scene. Here's our brief, guys, so bring it in. Over here on that edge, we had a 200-pound male fall. We don't know exactly how far down, but less than 200 feet. And we know that uh, another unit was already here. Uh, you can't see the imaginary, the imaginary repel lines, but they're down there. They repel with some medical gear. And in the last acronym, Locate Access Stabilized Transport, they've already located access and they're doing their initial stabilization right now. Initial reports say at least two broken limbs. And so it's going to be some kind of a litter uh, op and not like a pickoff. I'm going to lay out the site here and just give you like the flow of it. It's going to be a down, up, evolution with a litter on a two rope system. So we're going to do single main, single belay until we get over the edge and then we're going to transition to two tension rope system. Once we haul back up, single main, single belay, back up. We're going to, we will have a, a rescuer tend the litter as well. Okay, the edge is obvious. This line here represents our hot zone. So if you're working forward to this line, I want you guys to be in fall restraint and be protected. Behind this line, you don't need that restraint. This is our, our resultant or our projected load line or alignment or uh, applied force. All those things mean the same thing. So this is our plumb line or our fall line. There's a carabiner on the ground right here that's in the warm zone. This is where I want the litter tender, the rescuer. So to rig the litter, this is where we're gonna set that stage right here before we actually commit when we execute. So I want the litter to be here staged initially. Going back. Our primary belay line is gonna be here. Our primary main working line is gonna be here. Um, and on the lower, they're both kind of close together in line. On this main line, I also want a directional when we convert to a hull. Uh, because of limited manpower, we're gonna use a, a winch to help us. And so here on the main line, we're gonna direct it over to that next carabiner here. And here's where we'll put a winch for our, our hull. And that's our layout. Let's talk about assignments. So I'm gonna have Steve and Call primarily start on edge. Jan, you'll be the litter tender. Tom, I want you on belay. And Eric, you're gonna do main. If you're done with your rigging task, come back to me and I'll reassign you uh, to some teams that aren't done yet. And then we'll check the rigging and inspect everything. That's it, so talk to me. Give me your feedbacks or any recommendations you have before we get going. Nope. Okay, ready, break. Quiet on the set. Stand by for roll call. Operations are about to begin. Ready on main? Ready on main. Ready on belay? Ready on belay. Edge ready? Edge ready. Rescuer ready? Rescuer ready. Okay, and safety is me. Safety is ready. And I'll also be ROing this. Okay. Rescuer and edge. Let's go ahead and bring that litter into the fall line. And I want paradoxical motion. So I want to go up on main, down on belay. Up on main, down on belay. And as you can see, we're doing a paradoxical movement to try to move this litter into position like a conveyor belt. Um, we're going to do the reverse on the way up when we have a live package. And we're bringing this litter all the way up into the yoke. Keep going up on main. Let's get this thing into position. position. And Steve is going to now clip that belay where it needs to go, That's right through 99. that Aztec. Yep, use 99. <laughs> nice one. Okay. Let me know when you're in your position, Eric. Okay, we're operating a dual capability system, but we're, we're treating it as a main and a belay. So red is main, blue is belay, and we're getting prepped for a lower on the main, and the belay is just gonna uh, do its thing through the ASAP. Even though we have the Maestro rigged in, we're treating it as a single main, single belay, just for the edge transition. Then we'll switch modes to two tension rope system. Ready, Eric? Yeah, not yet. Yep, up on main. And now you're tracking, you're just taking the slack on on the belay. Okay. So rescuer waiting the system, making adjustments on the Aztec. Looks like it feels pretty good. good. Okay, and Steve, uh, I'll let you call the shots if you want to go down or if you want to position the litter first, it's on you. Okay. So they had a discussion on the best way to negotiate this edge. There are a lot of ways to do this. Eric has opted to use a set of fours and get below. So he's out of the equation. That leaves uh, the edge, Steve in this case, free to do what he wants to do with manipulating this empty letter through the legs of the frame. So this is a good technique to try to kind of cleanly and smoothly negotiate this edge. Ready on me? Ready on blade? Ready on blade. That's down. Down on me. And as we go down, Eric, you want to just grab the litter? we want to make sure 
it would be ideal if there's another edge tender or an edge man here um, so one person to manipulate the litter but look where our yoke is and look where our our directional uh, carabiner is on the Aztec so what we need to do is get this Aztec down and our goal is to keep that at the level of the yoke so through this transition we need to drop that and lower it down and so now we can see that we've temporarily suspended that belay through the transition and now we're just going to hover this down we also want edge protection here um, for that reason a lot of times sometimes our uh, directional frames the head isn't quite pitched directly over that edge and so there's going to be a little bit of rub and in those cases we want to adjust for that okay so we're going to go so jan no more belay we're going two tension rep system so yep so we're sharing the load and we can do that in instantaneously when we operate with a pair of maestros and asap so three whistles that means down and they're going to try and match each other's speed on the main and the belay or in this case they're both being lowered down let's take a look at the frame itself and so if you look at the feet and the angle so our our head and our legs everything's kind of pitched back just a little bit ideally you'd want this this head to be at the edge or maybe slightly pitched forward that'll clear the abrasion on the rope the only problem with that in that case is you have a tendency to kick these feet out that way when you do it this way it's a little more uh, inherently stable and it makes lashing and securing those feet a little bit easier so our head's level our speed is good and our rescuer is going down to the ground to pick up the rescue package down 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 and we want to account for any uh thrust forces kicking our easel leg back and so that's what this line right here does for us we just tied it to the bolt at the edge and then to the leg right here and that'll keep that leg from being thrusted back and that's the down uh, edge transition through an AHD using a single main single belay and then converting to two tension lowering system okay rest you on the ground uh, get ready to change over to a hall system cool all right so uh, if and Jan if you want to elect to use the maestro as the belay you can do that or you can uh, take that maestro out we're gonna do a single main single belay all the way up so we can just go ASAP directly to our anchor Tom you're on main so you've already pulled the bite this is gonna be our three to one so Tom come on up here let's rig our three to one in around Steve okay so our prosthetic in the form of a rescue sender this is our uh, hall cam and now we're gonna before we go back let's extend this forward so we get our maximum throw all the way up and now we're gonna clip right there and this is called a remote reset um, when you actually see it happen it'll make more sense so that remote reset line is coming down and we're gonna make sure it's not snagged on anything it's gonna go back into that yellow bag right there okay so let's we're gonna do three to one with the change of direction so let's get this through our pulley and um, just like we do uh, stagger compound systems split style or bat wing we're kind of bat winging this out and let's go back out and, it's, and uh, since we don't have enough people and we don't have enough space we're gonna bat wing this in close proximity to the Harkin winch so we're pulling on a winch on a three to one okay so yep this is how we rig it it has to go in through uh it's directional specific so it must go in and route through this pulley and follow these arrows right there all these arrows and we're going to wrap i want four wraps around and it goes clockwise this thing only spins in one direction and then the final wrap is on the stripper arm and we push let's push this all through and all the way around and we feel with our fingers to make sure that that rope seats and now we wrap that rope through the pigtail and that'll help tend as we uh as we haul on the the winch okay so that, that looks good so main is ready ready right. okay main ready belay ready belay ready okay and belay is gonna be not only belaying but also resetting our remote reset rig when we two block or three to one um on that throw okay edge ready edge ready okay and safety's ready so we're hauling up so there we go so there's two modes fast and slow and that will see it tends itself a little bit see that 
come through. Now this is our first throw. And let's follow our three to one. This is just excess. We're gonna follow our three to one back up. Now we can see how we're grabbing. Now you can see that remote reset rig right here. And it's tracking through a pulley, just like that. Good operation on the winch. This I don't care about so much. In all reality, I, I don't need this here. So I can just get rid of that right now. So this I don't need. Because whenever we haul, we don't need an ASAP. If we have a maestro, we can just take that off. Okay, Steve. Good. Ideally, we'd want to like tie this forward to eliminate this little gap or this little dead leg that exists between that, but it's not a big issue as long as we're tending it and minding it. So we're about to two block here pretty soon. And that's my cue to have our winch operator stop. And as we come back, let's get a shot of this. Two block reset. reset. Okay, so what's your job now? Unravel all this. Stand by, Jan. Yep. Get all that out. This can stay in, but get that off the winch. Okay, Jan's resetting the trussic all the way back up just like that. So he doesn't have to move up to the edge. He can just stay there. And now we reset all the way. Cool, we're there. All right, let's re-rig the winch. And now we're ready for another throw. And we'll just repeat this until our rescuers uh, come back with the package. And that's your basic conversion to a haul sequence. I'll try to pull it away, but I'm also going to be lowering myself away from the load. Um, and then I might not be able to reach it. So just keep an eye on that. Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. All right, so Eric's going to get out of the equation. We started to raise our belay line at or above the level of the yoke. Eric, can you stop right there? And just get are your feet on the wall yeah yeah there we and go yeah. just hold him there we go yeah. and then we're going to rage and okay. clear that yeah. so I'll do okay. my best. ready yeah. to raise okay and i'm going to watch the level of the yoke again the laying is important so we're level and i'm going to raise the ash tech or set of floors as it comes up we're going all the way up we want to clear it continue to go all the way up and now i'm just going to go all the way up on the ash tech stop stop stop, stop. okay stop so our litter is at the level of the ground, and now our edge guy is going to come in and rotate. And Eric's going to get out of the way a little bit if he, if he needs to on this set of fours so that the feet are. Stand by there, yep. Steve. Stop. Let me get back and out, and then I can manage the feet for you. There we go. Okay. Okay. So give me a little bit of slack in the belay, Jan. We're going to go reverse paradoxical motion, and we're going to want to let, let out on main. Okay. So now we're out. Now go. Now go taut on the belay line, Jan. Eric, you can probably start coming up. Yep. Okay, let's do it. Out. Um, in on in on belay, out on main. Yeah. Paradoxical. There we go. And now we have Eric coming up. And once Eric gets up, it's gonna be a lot easier to go. There we go. There we go. Okay. And we continue to drag. Continue to drag. So continue to go in on until they say stop. So in on belay. Eric. And then lower on main. Lower on main. Yep, there we go. So reverse paradoxical motion to get that litter yep, okay. into our frame and away from the edge. And now we're safe on the ground. And that completes the evolution.